Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is my hope and prayer that you have a lovely day. On my side, I'm very much okay. God is faithful. I have realized that William Ruto is really losing a section of the clergy that were with him before, during, and after the campaigns. You could talk of people like Olesa Pitt that uh, really criticized William Ruto and that really angered the Kenya Kwanza team. But if there is one person that really shocked me is the apostle of Nen Evangelis Evangelism Center. A man who speaks his mind and does not care. Apostle Nganga. Nganga, just like many other bishops and the, the entire clergy was one of the people who had uh, a soft landing for William Samuel Ruto. And he really praised William Ruto. In fact, after William Ruto took oath of office, Nganga, in one of the services in his church, asked people to give William Ruto time at least to establish the government because according to him then, he reasoned that Ruto had just gotten into office. He was trying to put a strong foundation. He was trying to just make sure that he had a cabinet. And Yanga said that William Ruto was to be given time to find out where money was placed and hidden. And he was very much convinced and persuaded that if William Ruto was given a chance, he would uh, deliver. Just take a look. So, Kenya Mbaya. Awesku sema Kenya ni baya ama uchumi ni mbaya it is you that are disconnected sababu jana jamu zimejaa kwa barabara na mafuta iko juu na niogee tena kwa wale ambao mnapiga piga kelele huyu rais ameingia hata si apewe hata mwezi tatu sasa mtu ameingia wiki moja atatoa pesa wapi hata hajatagaza mawaziri sasa hiyo ni kitu kilikuwa kimewekwa kule mbele ile walitoa wakatoa bei wakateremsha chini ilikuwa iteremshwe ndio mpige kura mwaveve sasa bila mko veva wakatoa mitambo yao zikarudi juu sasa mumpatie nafasi mtetei mumpatie nafasi hata miezi 3 ine aweze kupata pesa kule ziko aweze kuweka mawaziri ndiyo ajue vile ataziba hizo mashimo na sasa muachane na wanasiasa wanasiasa na watu watu wa kutapika they talk like whatever sasa walikuwa nasema ni mwizi sasa leo hii si mwizi wamegeuka the same same people salimia mtu mwabia wachana na wanasiasa ida mabu waliogea yote hata ule lafiki yagu walikuwa nasema ati Ruto hata kuwa kwa barot nilikojea sana hiyo kitu juice nimeona amegeuka tena <laughs> usijo kamini wanasiasa hata kuuza na the foreign day wanasalimiana wenyewe that was nganga by the way when i when i see nganga he he talks like Moses Kuria even the, the the tone and the voice and the way the 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 the, 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 the courage and the audacity you may think that they are brothers so that was Apostle Nanga then. But just yesterday, again, in one of his uh, service, Nanga made a U-turn and is actually a very angered man. And is not very happy with William Samarutu. And he, does, he, was, he was not careful in the manner in which he delivered his warning to the government. Listen to him again. Do what you want. Sometimes you are misleading this nation. Now, Gia Kama Mtume, Chief. Uchumi ni baya na muna tumia hizo pesa vile muna ataka. Muna ogezea uchumi huko, muna ogezea pesa huko, muna ogezea vitu huko. Na mtu waki wabia muna fuga kanisa. Simu ije mufuge. Simu fuge. Mufuge. Stupid. Ndi kuta ni kiubiri, nita ogea. And I say, what is right? I will speak that. I swear before God. Some of you guys, you are misreading this nation. 
na chuma kiko jikoni chuma kiko jikoni naongea kama mtume huyo gai mwadhaka nake ni akomtengura huyo mungu mnacheza naye atawatoa kwa jiko it is too much muogeze nyinyi wenyewe zenyu huku mnatuogezea pesa zingine and you can you, you can understand where nganga is coming from because i've realized that there are two categories of people or there were two categories of people that were supporting william ruto there was one that had been brainwashed there was a school of thought that simply believed that william ruto was a man of god and that their win came from god that victory was given to them by god because william ruto went to the churches especially in central province in some churches the evangelical churches or how do we call them william ruto had a portrait the, the, the churches had a portrait of william samoy ruto and rigathi gashagwa and they believed because william ruto had told them that Raila Odinga and the entire Azimio was an antichrist and so they convinced their people that Raila could not win because God did not like him in fact i remember at some point when mama ida raised concerns about some of our churches and he said that maybe they should be investigated to find out the kind of religion that they purport to profess and teach in their in those churches they said this was an indication that the, the Odinga family was an antichrist and they really used that to campaign against Azimio later just less than one year down the line we found out that there was some nasty things happening in Shakahola and as a result they decided to close down they formed uh, some inquiry committee to inquire into the conduct and what is happening in our churches something that we should have done long time ago so we have that category just been washed they are the category that do not even want to scrutinize the promises of our of, of, of our politicians whatever the politicians say will be alpha and omega and as long as you peg it to the word of god as long as you peg it to our religion then there is this fear that if you if you try to understand what they mean then mungu atakuchapa that is one category now the other category is the one that they were never brainwashed but they just believe that maybe william ruto just like any other politician can be given a chance to try trial and error william ruto used to talk good like william ruto knows how to talk he knows what to say where the way to put it and so maybe the way william ruto tried to articulate his points about the hustler nation the dynasty the bottom up economy within 100 days when he he, he puts the bible down and people thought that maybe let us give him the benefit of doubt maybe he can perform because he talks good so they gave him that benefit of doubt and i believe that maybe that is the category where nganga is belongs because nganga is, is saying simtete i'm not advocating for him i'm not defending him in any way but i just want you to give him maybe three months that was maybe uh, one month before it was maybe i think it was a month into power when william ruto had just uh, taken oath of office and you could also be you know you could give him the benefit of doubt there are people even the azimio after that dramatic loss quote in quote said okay let us give ruto a chance maybe he can perform and that is where nganga belongs so nganga was talking for just three months william ruto has been given now this is one year and there was a scorecard there's a scorecard that william ruto gave himself will the, 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 the entire uh, kenya kwanza government gave itself a scorecard and there is a scorecard that kenyans gave to the administration i think kenyans gave it a d but according to them they are somewhere at a b because kenyans were talking of the high cost of living skyrocketing prices of basic commodities and, and 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 there was corruption they can't deal with insecurity they keep on blaming the previous administration the politic too much in fact right now they are talking about uniting mount kenya because they want to go for the next election in 2027 so kenya has looked at this and it goes without saying that even the church has seen what is happening 
because when you when you look at uh, at, at uh, apostle nganga he's talking about corruption anasema mnajiongezea mnatuongezea bei ya bidhaa he knows he's talking about corruption because he understands what is happening in the country and he's saying i'm talking like a general wanajiongezea mshahara they keep on increasing their salaries while the common man suffers and i think at the heart of everything is 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 the high taxes that they introduced and the, and, and the value added tax on the petroleum commodities petroleum products that increased everything and the housing finance that they forced on people if you look at a, 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 a kenyan civil servant or a kenyan working fellow the taxes are so high you wonder what is happening even in electronics now taxes are there everything is being taxed and the deduction on nhif the housing levy the payers you earn the, the you know it's just too much and this is what has angered nganga because the church really feels the tough economic situation the, the, the church has got this program where they give back to the community like i know in where where, where i go where i worship there is a kitty uh the, the, some fund that is meant to 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 help those who are really suffering and i think they have to scrutinize and sit down and find out whether the person really deserves and they, they, they receive a lot of requests so they do it on merit and in every other church i believe there is such a program so the church really feels it because very many people are coming for help and they are overwhelmed they don't know what to do and so is nganga and every other churches we know that the churches keep on taking taking tithes and and, and taking you know preaching about give to god that is not the point that i wanted to discuss because many people will tell me apana these churches are bad they keep on you know taking too much from the congregation i know that happens but it's not the basis of my discussion i'm just saying that there are churches that have got a special fund for helping those who are those who are needy and they are overwhelmed and this is where some of these churches come from and i understand that even in terms of giving giving has has really gone down because there are no jobs businesses are not you know doing good kenyans don't have money and that is the reason why they know kenyans are suffering number two they are part and parcel of our community and society they are our brothers and sisters they just see how things are moving and those who trusted william ruto now understand that william ruto was never honest in the first place he used some of these things as as, as you know campaign gimmicks some of these rhetorics they really painted painted uru kenyatta in bad faith they really you know maligned raila muludinga as antichrist they said that uh, everything every of our predicament was as a result of william ruto and his advisor they said uh, then raila murudinga now they are beginning to wake up and very many kenyans including the church are retrieving their heads from the from, from the sand like the proverbial you know ostrich and they are beginning to speak meaning that they are really angered in fact the the, the, the apostle there is saying wakenikuta ninahubiri nitasema even if they come here when i'm in the middle of my services in the middle of my sermon i will still say it because i don't care because he realizes that william ruto is on a very dangerous trajectory kenyans are really suffering now what what, what really bothers me is the fact that they've realized that people are beginning to wake up they are beginning to speak out but they keep on the blame game they don't want to face the reality it's true that when god wants to finish you he will first make you mad and i've seen some people who just behave like madmen because kenyans see what is happening yet they still want to fool us they still want to hoodwink us you know if i were the kenya kwanza team i would sit back for a minute and and, and retreat my steps because they have really lost it they are really going on a very very wrong direction but as usual they know that they will take advantage of the tribal politics that we speak of the 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 the, the, the political uh, because we vote on political affiliation and on our tribal affiliation but very soon it is going to be very difficult in fact in 2027 william ruto might find it very difficult because the chart that he used to traverse the whole country to penetrate is now ditching him because if you see people like uh, apostle there talking with a lot of anger then it tells you that things 
are getting thicker. I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please take a moment and share with me what you think about this.